Hey guys, um, thank you for buying the Kodi kit from us that will help you install Kodi on your Fire TV. Uh, this video is just going to show you how to prepare your Fire TV uh, for uh, using the kit and for installing Kodi. Uh, the first thing you have to do is go to apps, go to top three. They look for Icono TV, the pink application. Click on it and click on download. Okay, uh, it should take some time, but the download would start in a little bit. Meanwhile, we can go back, click on settings, go to system, about, go to network, and you need to note the IP address. As you can see here, my IP address is 192.168.1.28. You need to note down your IP address. Now, after doing that, you need to go down to developer options. Make sure you turn on ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources. I have Fire TV stick. If you have a Fire TV, uh, it's going to have an additional option for USB debugging. You want to turn that one on as well. Okay, um, let's just make sure that Icono TV is installed. Yes, it is installed because we can see it in the home screen. Make sure that you see Icono TV at home. That's the application we're going to use to make shortcut for your Kodi. All right, thank you so much. This is a quick video to show you how to use the Kodi kit that's, which is a utility that will install Kodi on your Fire TV. If you haven't already bought the kit from us, you can find the link to buy it in the description box. Okay, uh, once you buy the kit from us, I will ship you a CD containing all the needed files. I have just inserted that CD into my computer. To access the files, we need to go to Finder. And let's go to that CD. All right. So this is the files. This this is just text file showing you basically uh, a link to this video that you are watching right now. And this is the zip file that we need. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy it. And I'll probably go to Downloads and paste it there. Paste item. Right click and paste item. So it's being pasted. Paste it. It should be there in about a minute. Do you know what? While it's doing that, we can go to Launchpad, Other and click on terminal okay let's expand the terminal a little bit in terminal I want to go to downloads so I can do CD to downloads okay and you're just waiting for it to be completely pasted into download basically once this zip file is fully com copied to download um, I'm gonna unzip it and once we unzip it we're gonna have the utility that will help us uh, install Kodi into the Fire TV by the way I have just tried this with the newest version of the Fire TV, the 4K Alexa Ultra HD and it works just fine as well. Okay, it's been fully copied so we can go to downloads and then unzip the Kodi.zip file. It's being unzipped now. Okay. Now that the Kodi.zip has been unzipped. We can cd 
to Kodi. Once you do that, you do an ls to see which files are inside the Kodi folder. And this is the Mac utility to install Kodi into the Fire TV. Okay, so uh, in order to be able to use it, you have to do chmod space 777 space star and enter. Basically, this command gives the utility permission um, to access different folders and files so that we can make the install process go uh, smoothly. Okay, to execute the utility, you do dot forward slash mac underscore kodi underscore config dot sh. All right, so it gives you the different requirements needed, which you, you would have already done by now. Um, your Fire TV must be inserted into the TV or plugged into the TV. Your TV must be on. You, you must have registered your Fire TV with your Amazon account. Ensure that your Fire TV is connected to the same network as this PC. Also, you need to go to this location in your Fire TV to get the IP address. You need to go to this location as well and make sure that EDB debugging apps from unknown sources are enabled. If you have if Fire TV, not Fire TV stick, then you're going to have another option, which is USB debugging. You want that to be turned on as well. Step 7, you want to go to App Stop Free and download Icon TV. Okay, once all of these requirements have been completed, you can hit Enter. And I know my IP address is 192.168.1.29. So the utility makes connection to the Fire TV and basically starts installing um, different applications. It starts with the Llama application, which will be used uh, to create shortcut for your Fire TV. Uh, I'm sorry, to create shortcut for Kodi on on the Fire TV, and it keeps installing other applications and notably Kodi. So that should take some time. Just gonna wait for it uh, to finish the installation. Uh, by the way, uh, basically after you click continue here and insert your IP address and hit enter, um, you don't have to do anything else. The utility does uh, everything independently of user input. Um, it installs the Kodi application, install different applications on your Fire TV, um, as well as installs a couple of files that we need so that we put shortcut on your home screen. Uh, I also install uh, the autopilot um, application, which you can go to manage application and launch it and it basically makes you able to start Kodi on your Fire TV whenever your Fire TV starts. Okay, so it's almost done. Just finishing up some other configuration. Perfect, and now it's completed. All you have to do is go to your Fire TV and enjoy Kodi. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hi again. So now that Kodi is installed into the Fire TV, we need to configure the add-ons. So to do that, you need to go to Settings, Applications, Manage installed applications and click on Kodi. Then launch application. This is the screen you see when you first start Kodi.
Okay, so you need to go to system, click on add-ons, click OK, install from zip file, external storage, Android, and you want to click wizard build.zip. You should see Spartan wizard add-on enabled. Okay, now we can go back to the main Kodi screen, go to Programs, Program Add-ons, Spartan Wizard. Okay, and you want to select the Beast. It should take about 20 minutes to download. Once that's done, you're going to have to reboot your Fire TV. And at that point, you will see all the add-ons on your Kodi. All right. Well, thank you so much. And you guys have a good day.